Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about financial function called as future value. With the latest updates released by Microsoft, this function is now available in Power BI. Before moving to Power BI, let's look at the definition and the syntax of this function. Here is the definition and the syntax. Calculates the future value of an investment based on constant interest rate. You can use future value with either periodic constant payments or a single lump sum payment. And we have the syntax here. It takes five parameter, the rate of interest, the total number of payment periods in an annuity payment, the present value, it's an optional and type, whether uh, the payment is made at the beginning or at the end of the period. And the return value is the future value of an investment. And if I scroll down, we have some example. And now let's go to Excel first and then try to understand what is future value. And then later, let's try to implement the same in Power BI. Here is an example. Let's say we open a RD with a bank and yearly deposit of rupees 10,000, okay? Let's say we do the uh, recurring deposit of 10,000 for five years and the rate of interest is 10%, okay? What will be the future value after five years? This is what we are gonna try out. So I have the interest rate here, 10% and tenure five, yearly payment is 10,000. So at the beginning of the period, right, there won't be any balance because we, we have just opened the account and there is no opening balance. And let's say we deposited 10,000, okay? That's our first payment. And interest rate, we know the interest rate is 10%. So after one year, since we are depositing at the beginning of the year, we get an interest of 10%, right? Let me hard code this function F4. And at the end of the year, my closing balance will be my deposit plus interest, right? Okay, this will be my closing balance. At the beginning of year two, my opening balance will be my closing uh, balance of the previous year, okay? So this will be my opening balance. And again, I'm gonna deposit 10,000 and interest, I'll be earning interest on my opening balance plus the deposit amount, right? And my interest rate is 10%, right? And this will be my closing balance. Will be my opening balance plus my deposit plus the interest earned. So this will be my closing balance. Now let me drag this formula down, okay? And now if you see, after five years, end of the five year, my closing balance will be 67,156. So this is my future value of my investment. So how do I do that with the built-in function? I'm gonna use future value and then rate here, it's 10%. Number of installments, or payments like five. So I'm gonna use five here. And payment amount, right? Yearly amount, I'm paying 10,000. Present value, I don't have anything. That is opening balance is zero. And I make the payment at the beginning of the period, okay? So hence it's one. And a catch here is like the deposit which I make, right? It's a cash outwards for me. So I'm gonna make this as minus negative. So, and if you notice here, my future value is 67,156. It's matching with the manual calculation. So I can do the same calculation in Power BI. Power BI has done some updates in the last release and this function is now available in Power BI. How do we do that? Let's quickly go to Power BI. So I have the same information in this table here. I have the interest rate, 10%, amount, yearly amount, 10,000, and period, five years. So now let me go to the report here, create a new measure. Call this as future value, example one, equal to future value. I have rate, 
it's in the column interest rate. So I cannot directly use interest rate here. So I'm gonna use selected value from the column interest rate. And then again, I'm gonna do the same thing, selected value from, uh, what was my second parameter? Okay, the uh, tenure, right? Selected value from the column period. And then again, what is my third parameter? That is payment, right? Payment amount. Again, use a selected value from the amount and present value, it's zero and type the payment is made at the beginning of the year and hence it's one and hit enter. Now, if I bring this to the card here, so I'll bring this here and I forgot something here. So amount, it's uh, outwards, right? When we make a payment to the bank. So it's a uh, negative and hit enter. And this is our future value, okay? So this is how we can use future value function in Power BI. And hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share with your colleagues or friends. Okay, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.